Hi everyone, today we're testing out this new projector. It's a Benk GS50, meant to be for outdoor use. Let's test it out against our Anker Nebula Capsule Max. Today we're checking out the Benk GS50 projector. Now this projector is quite interesting for uh, camper vanners, campers, motorhomers, uh, anyone who's looking for um, an outdoor orientated projector. And the reason I say that is because this is IPX2 rated, which means that it can take a light shower outside. It's actually got drain holes in the bottom for water to come out. Um, and also it's uh, slightly shock, uh, shock resistant too. So you can supposedly drop this from two feet and it'll be okay. Um, not that I'm going to try either of those, although it is pouring with rain outside. Um, but actually the other interesting specs from, from a projector point of view as well, especially when you compare it to the Anker Nebula Capsule Max, which is a perennial favourite of ours. It's our own projector. Oh, and if you haven't seen the video on that, just click up there and you'll be able to see it. Uh, the, uh, the, the specs on this GS50 are really interesting when you compare them to the Anker Nebula Capsule Max. So uh, it's got uh, a much better sound system in it. It's brighter in terms of the screen. Uh, it's actually a full HD projector, so 1080p rather than 720p, which is what the uh, anchor is uh, and I'll go into all of that spec stuff later on there's a few other interesting things with this projector too but let's get on with opening this up so you can actually see what it looks like now I don't think Bank have done themselves any favors from a camping perspective putting this projector in a bag this size if I just hold this up it's a bit difficult to show you on camera how big this bag actually is but when I show you inside the projector only takes up a small well about two thirds of this bag and the rest is taken up by power supplies and other bits and pieces. So that is actually the projector. So let's get rid of all that silly sized bag and let's have an actual look at the projector itself. So here it is. Um, it's got a, uh, a mounting screw on the bottom as you'd expect to be able to put it on a tripod if you wanted to. It's got a built in flip out stand on the front. So if you're trying to angle it properly, uh, it's got one of those built in. Uh, it's got autofocus, the same as the uh, Anker uh, ne Nebula Capsule Max. It's got this kind of interesting carry handle on the side that you can uh, put in and out. And then it's got output ports here for the speakers. So one speaker, two speakers, uh, and then on the back, that's the sub outlet as well. Uh, I said those drain holes, it's actually these little slots here on the bottom. I mean, you can see those. Um, those are actually drain holes, so if it does get water going into any of the speaker grills or anything else, it just drains straight out the bottom. Uh, on the top you've got power button, volume controls, um, and then a Bluetooth button if you're going to pair it to your phone to be able to do some uh, Bluetooth music. Uh, there's a DC in power socket at the back, that's the one for the normal power supply. And then on the side here uh, is where you've got I can just open it up that's when you've got this little thing which opens up and then in here you've got a USB socket HDMI socket full-size HDMI socket a USB C and you've also got an audio out so if you wanted to connect this at home into a hi-fi system or a surround system anything like that you can do so this has formally got 2.1 audio uh, which means it's got left and a right speaker separate and it's got the sub in here as well um, it's a really it's a really interesting layout actually I'll just put a bit of footage on the screen you can actually see the design of the inside of this and it, it reminds me of a Sonos speaker actually in terms of the way that they've used really small drivers but they've made use of the space inside the projector because you might be looking at this thinking wow that's that's quite big compared to the um, to the nebula well, I think they've tried to use the space wisely in, in getting a bigger sound and it's really hard on YouTube videos to be able to get across what things sound like um, because of the compression and that it's just not very easy to video. But actually this has a much bigger sound than um, than the Anker 
and it's not to say that the anchor's bad, uh, but obviously within a within a something which is just larger than a, a can of Coke, it's going to be limited to how deep you can get the sound. Whereas with this bank projector, very impressive. And I think if you were using them outside the van, projecting onto a screen outside the van or on the side of the van or at a campfire or something like that, this bank is definitely going to give you a much bigger sound than the uh, than the anchor. The other thing which I noticed when uh, just playing around with this before shooting this video was you can charge this with USB-C. And that says to me, why, why would you take that massive bag it comes with away with you in the van? I just can't see a time when you do that, especially considering this is um, pretty hardy as well. You can drop it from two feet, as I said. So why would you A, put it in its bag and B, bring that massive 240 volt power supply with you um, yes, you could probably run it off the inverter in, in a van, but why would you? Because everyone's got USB-C charging of some description these days, whether it's for an iPad, a laptop, a phone, you know, we've all got USB-C chargers, and this can charge off USB-C, which you can't do with the Anker uh, Nebula Capsule Max. So uh, that is a plus point for the GS50, definitely. So what do you guys think? Do you like the look of the GS50? Is it something that would interest you? Uh, we're going to... Uh, just pop the uh, nebula next to it and I think that might be the deal breaker right there. The nebula is incredibly small you know when you look at that and my hand is obviously around that they, if you haven't seen one in, one of these in the flesh they are just slightly bigger than a can of coke, uh, slightly fatter than a can of coke, slightly taller they, they're just an incredible size. Spec wise though you are looking at something quite different um, and there is a price difference between these as well I will come on to that but spec wise these are quite different um, when you consider brightness as well the uh, the 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 bank projector let me just have a quick check of my sheet make sure I tell you right so the bank projector's 500 ANSI lumens and I know these, these figures don't necessarily mean very much to you but that's 500 ANSI lumens these anchor nebula capsule maxes are 200 so more than twice as bright. Uh, I'll show you some footage just overlaid, just in terms of the van, you'll be able to see exactly where, uh, uh, what these look like when projected in the van. And again, if you haven't seen the projector screen for the Volkswagen California, just check up there and check out the video because there's some fantastic little uh, 3D printed brackets which uh, hold a projector screen in in the Cali in just the perfect place. So do check that out. I'll. Uh, show these on there and then you'll be able to tell the brightness between the two. I'll, I'll try and keep the camera settings exactly the same so it shouldn't be any camera trickery or anything like that and hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference between the two. We certainly can tell a difference between the two. As I said before, 1080p resolution, uh, so just over 2 million pixels coming out of the bank projector, um, which obviously will give you a, uh, a a clearer picture, smoother picture if you want that. Although I have to say, generally speaking, in a camper van environment, uh, if you're outdoors watching the football, you know, watching a, a movie or something like that in open air, are you really going to notice the difference between 720p, which comes out of the nebula? and 1080p out of the bank i'm not sure that you are but i'm not you know maybe my eyesight maybe my eyesight isn't as good as yours but it wouldn't be a massive selling point for me out of either of those two one important thing uh, as well is that both of these have got the the what i call 3d adjustment of the picture it's basically where you can put the projector pretty much anywhere um, within the van or outside offset from the center up down and you can change each four corners of the picture uh, 
in terms of dimensions. So when, when you normally have a projector, you know how you have to adjust the keystone um, to get the picture flat on the screen uh, so it doesn't look wonky on the screen. Each of these you can adjust all four corners independently. It's not just tilting it one way or the other way. You can go around each individual corner and pull it in, move it around to make that picture look perfect regardless of where you've got these. Uh, and uh, I tell you what, that makes a massive difference. Uh, it really does in terms of making sure you've got a decent picture quality. It doesn't look slightly weird and people don't look warped when you see them on the screen. So a top tip, even if you're not looking at either of these projectors, if you're looking for one for the van, it's a big difference, even in the Nebula range. Uh, that you know, if you have a look at the, I think it's the Capsule Max Two, um, or the Capsule Two doesn't have that adjustment, whereas the Max does, and it's a massive feature. It's it's a huge, huge advantage having that. They actually offered us a GS30 uh, bank to have a look at, and I, I refused it because it didn't have that adjustment, and it just, I just, I, I think I'd try it, and I'd say, don't buy it. It's not going to work for you in a van. Uh, so. Definitely a good advantage there um, on both of these ones. Um, in terms of things that you get, um, obviously you do get that carry bag with the bank. Uh, you don't get a carry bag or anything like that with the Nebula. They do sell a hard case separately. I think you've probably seen that in our videos in the past, but you can for 20 quid buy a, uh, an official Nebula carry case for this, which takes the power supply and the projector itself. Both come with remote controls, obviously. Uh, and um, yeah, and and I suppose the the biggest the biggest killer of both of these is price. Um, now, price wise, uh, the Nebula retail retails at four six nine um, pounds. Uh, Amazon, when I checked it this morning, had eighty pounds off that, um, making it three eight nine. And sometimes they have discounts which go further than that, but three eight nine is what you'd pay if you're looking today. Um, and we have got some links to that in the uh, in the video description if you want it. The Benk uh, is brand new, it's just coming out, um, so actually it's not available in loads of different places yet. You can pre-order one of these on their website. Retail price $699, and they've got £80 off as well, making it $619 as a pre-order. Uh, I think it's coming to Amazon as well in due course. A few other places like Richer Sounds and uh, a few other online retailers are starting to list it as well for varying different prices. But it's going to be between $600 and £700, pounds, um, whereas the Nebula is going to be somewhere between 350 probably up to about 450 So they, they are a different price bracket, um, both of these projectors, but you do get that bigger sound, that brighter picture um, out of the bank versus the, the Nebula. And it is choice, ultimately. You know, there's a big size difference between the two. Both of them can be a Bluetooth speaker. Both of them have got Wi-Fi. Uh, battery life on both of them, um, I think it's uh, around anywhere between an hour and a half to four hours on a rechargeable battery in the Nebula. Um, rechargeable battery in the bank, uh, they reckon about two and a half hours uh, battery life, so not, not too bad. Uh, in terms of, um, sorry, I'm just having a quick look at my notes. In terms of the operating systems these run, both run Android. Uh, the Nebula slightly more primitive, it's got, uh, it's got Android 8.1 on there. Uh, quite a restricted operating system as well. Uh, the Bank feels more modern. It's got um, Android TV inside version 9 and uh, feels a lot more integrated, feels a lot more up to date in terms of software. So again, that's just the fact that it's a brand new model. Uh, there is a little door on the top of this that slides off, which has got a like a casting um, stick in it as well. So you're able to cast to it from Chromecast, etc. Um, and that just slots into an HDMI socket on the back uh, under that cap. Um, I haven't bothered trying that in particular because we've been testing it on Wi-Fi, but uh, again, the Nebula can do casting as well if you want it to, and also has those sockets on the back uh, for HDMI in, etc. Um, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, we think they're quite interesting. Uh, certainly the Nebula comes away with us a lot. We do like using it on our travels. Uh, just to catch up on a bit of TV, watch a bit of Sky News on uh, YouTube. Um, and yeah, it's, it's quite, a, quite a nice thing to have in the van. We don't tend to use the Nebula outside at all. I think if we did, it might not quite be bright enough. It, it, it's okay, but it's certainly not really bright. 
I think the bank, if you're using it outside, would be a much, much better prospect, especially with that sound as well. But that said, if you're going to do that in the middle of a campsite, make sure you've got a load of friends around you or make sure you've made friends with everyone on the campsite. Otherwise, everyone's going to be sharing in your movie experience, whether they like it or not, with the bank because it's, it's loud, it's bright. Make sure it's a movie night for everyone. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, we've uh, certainly enjoyed having a play with the bank. Uh, it does go back, we're not keeping it. Uh, we think uh, the Nebula is the right one for us. Let us know in the comments below what you've got. If you're thinking about a projector, do any of these fit the bill or have you found something even better than these that we need to know about? Hopefully it's helpful for you. If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more California time. <laughs>